like, oh my god, like, how are you guys doing? I mean, like, you know, like, my name is, like, Gabe, and I love, like, makeup, yeah, and I'm so glad you're here on my channel, okay, and we're gonna all, like, hang out and chill today, all right, for real. So, hey everybody, this is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup. I hope you guys are having a really super awesome day today. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you are new here to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe. I'm a 49 year old makeup artist getting ready to turn 50 tomorrow. That has been in the industry 25 plus years. And um, I've been in all aspects of different types in the beauty community, as far as in retail and in sales and in customer service. I've been a national, I've been an executive, I've been education. I've done all different types of roles and role modeling in the um, beauty industry. Um, and I've worked with some major big brands. So, um, so anyway, I've been in the industry for a long time and I just decided that I want to start a YouTube channel and here I am and I'm now in it almost going on four months now, four months. Four months, almost four months, maybe four months and a half. So anyway, so I'm a little into it. So I'm deep into it. So you kind of stuck with me at this point. <laughs> So anyway, if you were new, I'm glad you're here. Uh, hi to all my old subscribers. I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. And I really do appreciate all the well wishes and everything. Um, so if you guys didn't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I had me and my roommate um, got um, diagnosed with COVID. And um, we it was around the 1st of April. So the, all the Sephora videos that you guys saw last week, um, those were I was I actually had it then, um, but I was trying my best to hide it so you guys couldn't really tell. And um, according to Misty, and there was a couple of other you guys that had, like actually had set out that you know I didn't even know you had it. So anyway, I did, and um, last week was just like the last final week, and so I was trying to get caught up on a lot of things. So I started a new position this next coming week. So I'm just kind of been really. Busy finally getting to sit down and film for you guys. So anyway, we are here and today we are going to do something really cool. We're going to be testing out the Westman Atelier Foundation Stick. I'm going to be testing it and we're going to be versing it against the Tom Ford Foundation Stick, which I do not have in front of me. Um, I actually have samples because I have friends in high places and um, and they give me two that that you know that I was able to get two samples from them so I have two samples of the stick so I'd save myself some money. <laughs> But I do have the Westman Atelier, so I'm a little cheap on this one, so. But, you know, I'll put pictures up here so you can see it. It's just, it's a stick, so it's not like a it's driving, it's just a Tom Ford packaging to go, ooh, ah, ooh, you know, that kind of. Well, we can pretend. We're going to pretend today. So we're going to pretend. Um, again, I'm sorry about not doing the Makeup Lunchbox Retro Friday, um, you know, because it's like I wanted to. I've got, I'm so backed up now on some things that I needed to get filmed that I have not got filmed yet. Um. We will eventually get caught back up on that. I don't have very many more lunch boxes anyway. I think there's only like maybe three or four, um, you know, but I will do, there's like at least two or more, two more of those, two or three more of those that I think are really fun that I do want to do. But I just wanted to get caught up a little bit before I go back into that series again. So we will pick that back up again. So just let you guys know. But anyway, let's get into this um, battle to see which one is going to win. Um, you know, I'm very, very interested. Um, you know, it's like, um, I will let you guys know though, and advance. I have tested both of these foundations out um, separately on their own and I have wore them all day. Um, I have wore them for hours and hours. Um, I've wore them with a mask. Um, I have sweat with them. I have done a little, quite a bit of things with it to try to see how they stand up to different types of humidity and stuff like that. So they have been properly tested. I just thought instead of doing two reviews, I would do it together um, and then kind of battle them together and see which one is like the better one or what does one is a little different from the other. So I already have forms and opinions about what I want to say about the products. So anyway, so we can get started right away. Um, I don't have anything on my skin. I put a little bit of an older Epsi Lauder lipstick on my lips. It's like, I just love this color. It's like, it's so pretty. It's like, it's really pretty orange color. I don't even know if they make it anymore. I have to look. And I do, I'll, I'll list it down below if I do, but I don't know why. I just like it. It's very punchy. I just think it's very punchy and I like it punch. 
And that's their lot of punch. So I, I like it. It's just fun. It's just kind of fun. So anyway, I'm going to, um, let's do a little bit. I'm going to do a basic um, primer today instead of doing something really bougie or something really crazy or a lot of, uh, you know, illuminating and all that stuff. Because I want the sticks to kind of stand on their own. So I'm going to do um, uh, my Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. Um, I haven't done it, done her in a while, and I just thought I'd do a little bit of it. I've already did my skincare and my sunscreen, and I did my good molecule patches around my eyes, which I really have been enjoying lately. Damn that Tara Lynn, because she got me hooked on them, and so now I like them, so I've been using them before I film, and I leave them on, do they like, so just like she said to do, and that's what I do, so, you know, so damn Tara Lynn, that Tara Lynn. And I got, but by the way, both of these are on Sephora, so you don't have to, you, although I know Neiman's carries um, Tom Ford, and so does Nordstrom, and so does um, quite a few different places that carry Tom Ford, but I did get these off of Sephora, so if you are interested in it, and the sale is going on to the 19th, if it's something that you're interested in and you want to try, it is on the site, and it is available, and I did look already, so they are, I think the Westman's out of maybe two or three shades, and I think the Tom Ford might be out of two or three, but there's not very many, but it is on the site, so um, so the Tom Ford is the Tom Ford Traceless um, uh, Stick Foundation, uh, again, I'll put it up here beside me, so that way you guys can see it. Um, it is 88 Dwellers, Dwell Hairs, Dwell Hairs, 88. She's expensive. That's, just, that's the reason why we do samples, okay? Because that's, just, that's expensive. Um, you know, it is a, um, you get, um, I have it in two shades. I have it in 7.2 and 7.7, .7, which I'll show you in a minute. And then um, I have it, it's a uh, 0.5 ounce and you get 15 grams of product in it. Um, it gives a natural finish, a medium coverage. It's best for dry combo and normal skin. Um, it's gluten-free and it's without parabens and uh, silicones. Um, and then, you know, and it um, it is pretty good, like a medium. I would give a medium, maybe you can might try to build it up to a full, but I would definitely say it's definitely like a medium. And then we have the Westman Atelier, and this is kind of like what the packaging looks like. It's really, really cool. It has a magnetic on the top. Um, you know, it's like, sorry, my dug my fingernail down on it the first time, but it like, but it kind of, it rolls up like that. Um, it's very beautiful. It's very classy. The packaging is very pretty. It's got a very a sleek, um, beautiful, it's got the Westman Atelier across the top of it. Um, it's really, really beautiful. And if you guys don't know anything about Westman Atelier, I'm sure you know who Tom Ford is. <laughs> I think everybody knows that this boy who's off for it is. But Westman, uh, Gucci Westman is a, um, she is a celebrity makeup artist. She, um, has been in the industry for a very, very long time. Um, she has a lot of celebrities that she has done, um, you know, but she's done a lot of photography. She's done a lot of Vogue. She's done a lot of magazines. Um, she's done a lot of, like, very, um, uh, what's the word I want to use? Pictorial shoots and a lot of and a lot of red carpet and a lot of things like that um she's known for her very natural um kind of glassy almost kind of skin um and you know her products are all cruelty free vegan free um at, like free of all any types of sulfates anything you name it and, you know it's um it's good for redness dullness and even skin tone texture. And it has Berry Vox Vita, which is a boosting hydration and uh, a youth preserver. Um, and you know, I have it in the shade Atelier IX, which I don't know Roman you know very well, but that's, I used to do back in the day, but I don't anymore. But anyway, this is IX. And, um, you know, and it's just a, a beige tan with neutral, um, um, neutral undertones. And you get 0 0.31 grams of product in this, or ounces, sorry, and 9 grams of product. So, the Tom Ford has got 15 grams in it, and this has 9 in it, and she's $68 for this. So, you're getting, um, I'm not going to do the math thing, because I'm, <laughs> I'm just good at math. And to me, it's still like you're getting more in the Tom Ford than you're getting in this one. Um you know, but I guess, again, it just depends on what you're looking for and what you're kind of wanting in a product. So, um, so anyway, but it is, you are getting a little bit more in the Tom Ford stick than you are in this one. Um, you know, but yeah, let's put them on and see what it is. So, we got $68 versus the 88. That's my Atelier. This is the IX. This is the Tom Ford 7.2, and this is the Tom Ford 7.7. .7. This is definitely going to be more of a, um, 
It would actually even work probably for a conch work for me. It may be in this shade right now, but that would be definitely me in the summer. Um, this is definitely me right now. And then, you know, and then this one is the 7.2 in the Westman Atelier. So we might have a little bit of difference with the colors as far as side by side, but for the most part, it's perfectly okay. We're not really planning on going anywhere or doing anything, so that's okay. But actually, Gucci Westman, her brush is very, um, was, first of all, her brush was like $80, her foundation brush. And I was like, hell no, there's just no way because it was very similar to this one um and then tom ford i probably will use his with this one but um you're supposed that you can kind of take it with the product she definitely suggests that you start in the middle so i'm going to take a little bit of the product and i'm going to warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand because um her product is a little persnickety i've noticed that with this product that if you do it straight like this with the stick it says you can blend it with your fingers which is great um which i do like it with my fingers i have tried it with the fingers um but you're supposed to start it a little bit in the middle and then you're supposed to kind of like blend it out i'm trying to stay away from the other side so you guys can see what it looks like um because it is a really um beautiful foundation this this one definitely is um to me it's a little bit more for a drier skin type i don't really recommend it probably for somebody that's very oily you know if you guys know anything about me um i do collect um older makeup and max factor pan stick makeup is my favorite one of my favorite foundations of all time because for, it is wonderful for dry skin. And it's just one of those things that I just love. I just love that product. And these very much remind me a lot of those product, of that product. So I'm so glad to see that a stick foundation that's more emollient has come back because for a long time, stick foundations had went very matte and um, I just didn't really care for them as much. Um, so I stayed away from them. So, but now they kind of went back into that again and I'll really like that. So I'm going to take just a little bit of my eye. I'm not going to go too much in it, but, um, so let me take a little bit of my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to go over and just lightly blend any um, area that we have here. You want to take just a little bit of product and do a little this maybe and blend it out. Um, I suggest to kind of still maybe warm it up a little bit on the back of your hand. I just think it does better. I'm going to do the Tom Ford the same way. I feel like it just does a better job than taking it and running it across your face. Because Unless you just want a really full, full coverage or more of a fuller coverage. But anyway, let me turn the light down on this one. And you can you guys can see... It's really, really pretty. It's not really, you know, it's like, so there's just a little, let me do it just a little bit more. I'm going to take a little bit more right here. I'm going to tap that right in there and just show you a little bit. It, it built it up just a little bit. This foundation, I will say, it's not, I'm not saying that it's not buildable, but it's just, it does better when you don't like try to go to full coverage with it. It's more for like that sheer, sheer kind of like blending it out type of a product. The more you try to build it, the more cakier it looks and it just doesn't look as smooth. Um, so I have to say, I think that it does better um, without really super building it a lot. I mean, if you, if you want just like a light, you know, just evenness in the skin, this would be, I mean, this would be great, um, but I just don't know if I recommend doing too much building on it, but it is really beautiful and it does leave a really beautiful finish. Let me turn my light back up again in a little bit. So see how pretty, it is very pretty. So, um, so now let's go over to this side and do the Tom Ford. I'm gonna do it in the 7.2. Make sure I got that off my hand. And I'm gonna go in with my It Cosmetic Brush, so it has a concealer brush on the end. I'm gonna go in with that. And I'm gonna take just a little bit because Tom is a little bit more, I don't know the word. It feels thicker. It feels a lot thicker where the Gucci feels more thinner. It's got more of a thinness to it. Um, it's more, it's just more moisturized. It's got like more of a moisture sheer, tinted moisturizer kind of feel with the Gucci. The Tom Ford is like, it's definitely more, definitely, definitely more coverage for sure. And the color is a little different. So we're going to get a little bit more, it's going to be a little, maybe a little bit darker on this side. But um, that's okay. It's just going to look a little bit more darker. But it, and Tom Ford is not um, cruelty free. Um, or upon my reading this, it was not. Um, because it is owned by Estee Lauder and it's an Estee Lauder company. 
Um, so I know that some of their stuff is not cruelty free. Um, so, but, but the Gucci completely is. So if you're definitely looking for more of a cleaner brand, the, um, the Gucci definitely would be more for you. Um, the Tom Ford would be, you know, it'd be, if you're just a little bit more, if you're more worried about the, um, the environment and, um, you know, as far as being, um, animal safe and things like that, I definitely would not recommend the Tom Ford. But if you guys can see the Tom Ford, I'm building it just a little bit because the Tom Ford you can build. It is definitely buildable. The Gucci is not as buildable as the Tom Ford. But see, this is the difference. Now see, this is the Tom Ford. And then this is the Gucci. Now the Gucci, again, is a little bit lighter shade. So just keep that in mind. But um, but it is but it is really, they both blended in really beautifully. Um, again, you can see how this one's just a little bit more fair on me. Can I, Or I can see it. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but I can definitely see it. So it definitely looks a little bit more fair in this one. This one looks a little bit more natural to me because it just blends into my skin a little more, a little better. Um, but um, as far as color goes, but I mean, that's what happens when you shop on the Sephora site and you try to pick a shade. Cause and I want to thank you guys so much for keeping up with me on Instagram and being so sweet and so wonderful and so just checking up on me and making sure I'm okay and I mean you know and everything it's just so you're just so awesome and I really really do appreciate that because that really means a lot to me um so I really do appreciate it um I know some of you are probably worried about me <laughs> like where I was at because <laughs> usually I you know here of late I've been posting you know quite a bit but I know that after this week once I start work again um I don't know what my schedule is going to look like so we'll have to talk about that but I don't know what it's going to be I don't know if I'm going to be able to download three times a week or two times a week or four I don't know I don't know what my schedule is going to look like so we'll eventually we'll get there but um but we'll figure it out but I just you know just to throw that out there again just to make sure that you guys are aware that I start work next week so on um, uh, next Thursday so I mean so just keep that in mind but anyway back to the product so what do you guys think it looks really pretty doesn't it definitely where I was starting to build it up right here I'm going to tell you guys that again it it looks starts to look really like cakey when you when you build it this one does not she's not buildable like she's definitely like for somebody that wants that really sheer really pretty light product that doesn't want a lot of like coverage to really build it um because it it just to me it just starts to emphasize things um and if i go back over it with like my blender and kind of blend it down a little bit more it blends down it blends down good but it just still it just you know and it took down some more of that cakiness but it just cakes it starts to cake and you just don't want to do that because it's just it's not made to be like that now the tom looks fine like, you know, you build the Tom and it's over and over again. If you're looking for buildable, more medium to full coverage, this one does really, really well. But again, I know that from wearing it before that I knew that what it was going to be like. My Chanel corrector and a little bit of the shape tape. I'm taking a little bit of that. And I, again, I'm going to go in with a little bit on my brush here at the end. And I'm going to just, I took them and kind of mix them together because the shape tape is a little, she's a little bit dark. And I just, and I should have got a little bit of a lighter shade, but I'm just going to take a little bit of this with just a little bit of the, um, together just to give it this really pretty finish. Because this one and the Chanel corrector and the rose just blend out beautifully together. So pretty. See how pretty that is? It's just so pretty together. Both of them are just so pretty together. And concealer blends really well over top of both of these um you know it the gucci or the, i'm sorry gucci i'm connor gucci again the um the westman atelier it seems to do a little better on its own and according to um gucci westman she says that you're supposed to it did you pick two shades of foundation one for concealer and one for um you know your foundation um so you have them both because she doesn't have a concealer yet she just got that the it's just the makeup i think it's way too much money to spend on two sticks of foundation i just think that's a little elaborate now if you have the money and you want to do that and you really like her product and you do like that really really sheer look because i have seen her do it 
um, on Instagram and a couple other places where she will take the stick and she'll do it like a different color as her concealer and she'll use a little bit around her and that's what she uses and that's how she does it when she does her makeup. Um, but yeah, I'm not, um, it's just doing, that's just a lot to me. Um, to buy two foundations, just to mix for concealer. Um, you know, but you can definitely do you and whatever you think. But I mean, I just think to me that's a little bit extreme, but it looks really pretty with the concealer over it. The Gucci or something like the new Dior. Now that looks like a powder, no powder type situation. Then you would be fine with powder. But if you try to go in with like, um a baking powder or something really thicker or something very heavy. If the Gucci side, the Tom will be fine. The Gucci will not. The the Westman Atelier will not. It does not, she does not play well with a lot of powder. It's not made to be mint with a lot of powder. It's made to be very fresh and light and dewy and natural and yada yada. It's not supposed to be um, considered more of a, um, you know, full coverage type makeup with a powder and whatever, because it just, to be honest with you, it just does not, it just does not work very well. Um, so I definitely would not recommend that for sure. Take just a little bit of powder and I'm going to take my, um, my Tati Blendiful and I'm just going to take a little bit in it and I just want to show you guys what it looks like the Tom Ford versus with the powder. Now again, with the Gucci, with the, I'm so sorry, I keep I calling it Gucci. Um, the Westman Atelier is definitely not one to be powdered, but with this powder, it seemed to work really well for me. Um, yeah, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So, and in the Gucci, by the way, in this powder, I have it in the shade six, uh, oh six, yeah, in the matte natural shade. And this is such a beautiful powder. It's actually my favorite powder right now because it looks so natural. And it looks so pretty, and it just sets it, but you still see it's got a glow, and I like that. It's not super, super matte. That's why I feel like it's okay to use it with, like, a product like this. But I'm going to powder it just a little bit, just to kind of let you guys see what it looks like, just to show you what kind of a finish it does give. Give. But if you did it with a heavier powder than this, it would cake, 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 cake. This side would cake. We cake so much. Now, see, it looks really beautiful. Right now, it looks really pretty. Just doing a little bit more there. There. But it looks really beautiful. It doesn't look really heavy or anything. It looks really pretty. And this is without a setting spray. So, it looks really nice. So, if you did a setting spray, it would look even more natural, especially without a powder, um, which we may do a little bit later. But, um, for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go off camera. I'm going to do just a little brow, and um, I'm going to do a little bit of the um, Westman Atelier uh, Mascara, because I have it with me. I'm going to do a little bit of that. And, um, and we will be right back and I will let you guys see that. I'm not going to do a full, full look. I'm just doing a little something, something, a very natural look today. Um, but I just wanted you guys to just see it. And then, you know, then I will give my final thoughts. Okay. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we are back. So what do you guys think? So what I did was I just, I made my brows look a little bit more bushy. So I give them a little bit more fullness. And I'm still testing out that Charlotte Tilbury kit that I bought. And I added in some of the Jason Wu with it. So I just give it more of a wispy brow look and I just did a little bit of the Westman Atelier Mascara. A little bit of that and I did that lipstick that I had on earlier. I did it on my actual, I did this on my lid and I did it on my cheeks and then I did a little bit more on my lips. I'm going to give it a little bit more of that really punchy look to my lips because I really like that. I love this because it's a very springy, bright kind of look, but it's very simple. Um, there's no highlighter. There's no bronzer. Um, I didn't do any of that today. I didn't do any spray. Um, so there's no setting spray. So this is just the finished product on its own with what little bit of powder that you saw me guys, so what you guys saw me use earlier. But this is the look, and it's really, really pretty. So, final thoughts. Um, before I get started, just a little bit about this um, Westman Atelier Mascara, just to give you guys a little hint about it. Um, it's curling, lengthening, volumizing. Um, it is a... Uh, uh, 
29 ounce, it's 8.5 milliliter, and it's $58 for this mascara. Um, real quick on the mascara, it's really pretty. It's a pretty mascara if you want a very natural, clean beauty type mascara. It is really pretty. Is it worth $58? Not really. I think that after you spend $30 on a mascara, I think that's that should be the cutoff. I don't think it's really, I mean, you can get some really good mascaras other places and other, you know, they're a little bit more better. But I mean, it's a really good basic mascara you see. It's just really pretty. It's not a lot. This is about three coats, by the way. Um, so I usually can get some mascaras in, the, in just two coats or one coat to give me more than this one did in three. But it is a natural mascara. It is more of a volume lengthening everything and it's a clean beauty mascara um it is pretty but i mean unless you want to spend the 58 dollars on it i wouldn't but i mean but it is a pretty mascara um so with the foundation so the westman atelier foundation i really do like it i think it's really beautiful especially the way that i blended the two together they turned out really pretty together um this one is just more of a more natural one um it's definitely to me more sheer then maybe somewhat medium if you can get it out of the first time. Don't go back and build it. I would recommend this more for dry skin, normal skin. I don't think Combo or Oily would really like this skin, This one. I think it would be a little bit too moisturizing. Um, it does stay on pretty well. It stays on for about close to five, six hours. Um, with a mask on, it'll come off some more. Um, it doesn't stay on very, very well with a mask. It's not that great with sweat either. It's like, you know, eventually just wears, if you don't sweat or you just do a normal wear, um, it'll, it'll eventually wear off if you're dry, normal. It'll wear off in about four or five hours on its own. Um, you know, it's not really meant to be a long wear foundation, but it doesn't make that claim anyway. It's just supposed to be more of an even, your skin tone, but better type product. And that's what I would use it for if you like it and you want something very clean, um, clean beauty, and you want something the lightweight and you're normal to dry and you want a little bit more of that dewy radiant finish then this would be great um the tom ford um it is a beautiful product if you want more coverage i would go with this one again if you're normal dry combination i would use the oily skins would not like this there's some other tom ford maybe the um natural matte one there's one i forgot the name of it but um but it would be better for you but this one is a more normal dry uh, in combo, but um, you could get a definite medium to a full coverage out of this stick. It's a lot thicker. Again, it has, um, it's not as clean beauty as the other side is. So if you're looking for more clean beauty, I would go with this one if you want something more natural. But if you want more coverage and you want more glamour, this one would definitely be it. It definitely reminds me a lot more of the Max Factor Pan Stick. It reminds me more of that. The texture, the way that it feels and everything, but it is beautiful. This one stays on really well. You can sweat pretty well, and it'll still stay on. Now, I don't know about your blush and, and powder and all that stuff, but you can set it with powder um, where this one doesn't work well with powder. If you do a lightweight powder, it's okay, but anything heavy, well, this one will work with heavier powders. Um, it works well with a lot of different things. It works great with uh, bronzer. It works great with blush. Whereas this one, she doesn't do very well with building a lot of stuff over top of it. Um, this one is very buildable. You can build a lot of things over it. It's going to give you more coverage. Um, it's definitely got more grams in it than this one does. This one is a little bit more expensive, but you do get a little bit more in it for your money than you do in the in the Westman Atelier. Um, so it's two different types of foundation. And when you look at me side to side, this one... Um, to me, just looks more fresh, and this one to me looks a little bit more polished. So that's just my take on it because I did concealer the same on both, mascara the same on both, brows the same on both. Um, you know, so I don't really, you know, as far and I try not to do too much more. The powder was the same amount on both sides. Um, so, I mean, you know, I don't really think there's a winner or a loser in this one. I think it's just pretty much what you're preferring if you are looking for a stick foundation and you want that kind of a coverage. Um, I will be uh, weary if you were going to something in the heat, if you wanted something a little bit more in the heat to get by now that it's getting closer to summer. The Westman Atelier, if you're dry, you'll be fine. Um, because if you're even in the summer, it'll be beautiful on you. Um, if you're normal to combination, it is going to melt on you. It's not going to stay at all. Like you'll just, you may have it on for maybe two or three hours at the most. And that's even with powder probably. Um, the Tom Ford is going to last much, much longer on you. So if you're looking for for something more longer wearing or something that's going to stay on and it's not going to come off as much. 
I would definitely go with the Tom Ford, even though in the claims it does not make that it say that it's transfer resistant or long wear or anything like that. This is just off of my jurisdiction and what I've wore it because I've wore it to the gym and it stayed on gray. It stayed on good with a mask. Um, it stayed with the uh, the product over top of it. It stays really well. Um, it's just a really beautiful finish. It stays good with most primers. Um, the Westman Atelier does too. It does pretty good with primers underneath it. Um, just more moisturizing is better. I wouldn't do anything silicone underneath it because it will not do well with that. It definitely is, needs more of a dewy emollient, something to stick to kind of base or over top fit. Um, the more stuff you put up underneath it, the worse it's going to look. Because again, it's supposed to be made more natural and not as dramatic where the Tom Ford is like an actual, it's a stick. Like, it's a makeup stick. This one is more of that sheer, glowy fresh, tinted moisturizer top look that's just going to give your skin even bit better. This one's going to give you like the coverage and give you a little bit more of the glamour and a little bit more of the glitz in it. Um, you know, neither one of them seem to settle in my lines or anything like that. I don't have any of those kind of problems. It doesn't crease on me. Um, they both wear off really nicely. Um, by the end of the day, this one wears off just like this one does. This one just wears off a little faster. This one will wear off in probably four or five hours where this one will, um, it will stay on at least a good eight, nine, ten hours, maybe even more, um, especially if I really superset it with powder and spray. Sorry, I keep my mirror, um, I light. Um, but yeah, you definitely will get more, um, you get a little bit more bang for your butt for the Tom Ford because you can shear it out just as much as this one if you wanted to. Um, so, I mean, you know, if you were really kind of looking for a winner, I guess you would say it would be the Tom Ford, even though it's $88. And this, I think it really worked that price point. But if you look at it, if you're looking at the Westman Atelier, it's $68. Um, and, you know, the only thing that I definitely would say that Westman has against the Tom Ford that is better is that it's cruelty-free and it is a much more of a cleaner beauty brand where Tom Ford is not. Like, what do you guys think about this look? Like, what do you think? I'm like, I really love this spray springy one one and done lipstick all you know like that i love that i love the really bright and the fresh look i really really like it i like just a little bit of the mascara and nothing else really in the brow um i just think it's just really pretty but um let me know down below what, what your thoughts are would you be interested in any one of these is this a stick foundation for you i know that i have a lot of you guys that are kind of more on the oily side so i know that that kind of probably counts you guys out a little bit because it's like it's not i mean i wouldn't try it because it's 88 dollars if you're gonna spend 88 dollars on a tom ford foundation definitely go with another one which i've got two or three of his foundations that i've not yet tried that i'm planning on doing a review on in the future so i don't really know um a lot about his foundations yet because i'm just tipping my toe barely in the tom ford because he's just so expensive and i just I've just never really been into his stuff very much. So, but um, and some of his complexion products is interesting to me. So I will be dabbling in with those, but I'll just have to wait and see. But definitely let me know your comments down below and what you think of this, what you think of the look today. I really do appreciate it. I've had a really super awesome time. It's so good to be back. Um, I'm going to be trying my best to get up at least one every day at this point up until I get ready to start work. And then after that, I will let you guys know and I'll keep you posted on Instagram and stuff. Okay. Just let me know your thoughts and keep in touch with me. And, you know, if you do our Instagram, make sure you are following me and you do DM, in, DM me, you know, um, you know, if you need to chat or whatever, that'd be great. So anyway, take care. Have a good rest of the day and we will see you guys again soon. So peace out and take care. Bye.